Father Tagura, our Rector and Dean of Studies, Father Crisostomo, our Shrine Rector, fellow SVDs, brothers and fathers, formators from the different congregations and dioceses, especially students, non-teaching personnel members of the faculty of Christ the King. Thank you for inviting me to preside over this opening Mass, being new member of Christ the King Seminary. And I would like to reflect about the natural action of God, which is raising up the lowly, lifting up the poor. That's the very natural activity of God. Today, we celebrate not so much of the Assumption of the Blessed Mother as we turn our gaze on the Blessed Mother who is raised up body and soul to the highest heavens. Let us pay attention to the bigger picture, the God who is working, lifting up the lowly. Just as the Blessed Mother was immaculately conceived body and soul so Mary both body and soul at the end of her earthly life would never be separated and would be lifted up to heaven the better way therefore to understand the solemnity of today is to go back at the beginning of the life of the Blessed Mother to understand the end of her life, the beginning and the end. And so we have the first reading of today taken from the last part of the Bible, Revelation, the end time. We have a woman in the sky clothed with the sun and this woman is about to give birth to a son and there is a red huge dragon wanting to devour the son. Is this scene not familiar? Yes, this is a familiar scene. In the end, let us go back to Genesis. We have God out of the lowliest creature, the soil stooped down and took away something from the soil and created a woman. And that woman, God called the mother of all living. And yet, still without a child. And there is a serpent. And this serpent tempted this fragile woman, this weak woman, made out of the soil what we see in revelation a woman coming from the ground but now residing as it were in the sky clothed with the sun and with a child who is identified by the second reading as jesus christ and we see a full-blown serpent no longer crawling, but a dragon trying to devour the woman. But because the woman now is with a child as the mother of all living, this woman will never give in to the temptation. And so, this is our hope. This is what we celebrate. This woman now who is not giving in to temptation because of the child of the son is the woman in the responsorial psalm who is the queen standing in gold of fear. She is the woman bearing light in her in the gospel who in bearing in her womb the light Jesus ran in haste to the hill country of Judea, looked for the darkness of her cousin who is barren, 
and out of the barrenness comes the light that she brings. And so, as this woman visits Elizabeth, she also visits us bearing light. And in visiting us, bearing her light, who is the sun, that will give us the inspiration not to give in to temptation. Let us, like John in the womb of Elizabeth, raised up as it were, lift for joy, for the light has visited us. It is all about God through the Blessed Mother. This is what we celebrate. The celebration of God lifting up the lowly. The celebration of God raising up the poor. The celebration of God feeling the hungry. This is hopefully our desire for this school year. As we start this academic year, let us open up the darkness of our ignorance and welcome the light that comes from Jesus through Mary. So as we welcome this Jesus through Mary, we may be lifted up to the highest heavens, even momentarily in our classrooms. No wonder a theologian said, Mary is God's sweet kiss to us as we see her being assumed into heaven and as we hear her song of the Magnificat in the gospel of today may we respond like the song of the West Side Story saying Mary, Maria, Miriam Say it loud and there's music playing. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. Mary, Maria, Miriam, say it loud and there's music playing. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. I remember as we start this academic year, I remember my mom. Yung nanay ko po every June, June ang opening noon. Every time na he would, she would recycle our notebooks, bata pa po kami, at kukunin niya yung mga hindi pa nagamit na notebook, pos tatahiin po niya. Habang tinatahi po niya, lagi niyang sinasabi sa akin, nagpaparinig, June na naman, sana sa March, makakaakyat na ako ng stage. <laughs> at, uh, Pagkatapos po, tinatahi niya yung mga... There was a time na tatlo kaming magkakapatid sa loob ng seminaryo at ako yung bunso kasi may kambal ako, ay may kapatid akong kambal who are ahead of me. So yung mga black and white na uniform nila, kung ano yung nalakihan na nila, so sa akin lahat, so ang nanay ko, mga notebook at mga black and white, talagang tinatahi para may magamit ako. Habang nagsasabi ang nanay ko na sana makakaakyat ako sa stage pagdating ng March, Iniisip-isip ko, siguro makakaakyat ka ng stage pag bibilham mo ako ng bagong notebook <laughs> at bagong uniform. Pero, hindi nakaakyat ang nanay ko sa stage when I was elementary because of some also politics and controversies. Pagdating ng high school, hindi na naman nakaakyat. Pero every June, laging nagpaparinig niyan. Sana pagdating ng March, makakaakyat na ako ng stage. Nung graduate po ako ng Christ the King, 1999, bagong doktor si Father Pabs, he was my advisor. Pagkatapos po, nakaakyat po ako ng stage, hindi lamang ng stage, pero sanctuary, right here, in the sanctuary. And I knew my mom was so happy. Pagdating namin sa stage, akala ko ang nanay ko sisigaw at sasabihin niyang success. Pero hindi siya sumigaw. Pero bumulong sa akin. 
Sabi niya, something like this. Aris, it is God who lifted you up. And he ta- she taught me, like the Blessed Mother, to always recognize Jesus in our success. Two weeks after, before my defense uh, dissertation proposal ko sa Berkeley, namatay ang nanay. Hindi niya nakita yung aking little achievement. Pagkatapos po, after my defense proposal pa lamang yun, ang sabi ng advisor ko, on a very personal note, after the many questions asked by my readers, Sabi niya, your mom must be very proud of you. But I thought of my mom whispering to me in this sanctuary, it is God who lifts you up. Just do your best. Dear students, I think this is the message for today. In whatever little opportunity we can do, reading, writing, recitation, study period. Let's not waste opportunities as moments to shine. And if we shine, God will lift us out. Amen. We all rise.